as we near the end of our liturgical year, uh, and we get a number of gospel readings that have to do with the last judgment, the uh, end of time. And uh, this week, again, does not disappoint. Jesus teaches in Matthew 25 the parable of the talents, the parable of the slaves who each receive a different amount of money when their master goes on a big trip. And they invest it, and they invest it differently. And when the master comes home, a couple of them have done well, and one of them uh, just buries his uh, million dollars in the ground. And so here we are uh, in the parking lot with the church building in the background. If I were going to bury something, well, this would be it. not a bad Now, I haven't buried anything, so don't uh, I'm looking for uh, any treasures. Uh, but the, uh, the one servant does, he buries his talent in the ground, and when the master comes back, the master says, this was a worthless idea. Uh, why have you done this out to the outer darkness? Whereas the others invested the money and uh, they were uh, welcomed into the joy of their master. And we might wonder, what is this parable all about? Is it t giving us investment advice? Well, no. It is actually uh, picturing, imaging, giving a picture, which is what parables do, of what it looks like to have faith in the master or not faith, just fear. Uh, and now I will uh, cut to the chase and uh, remind you that you who have this baptismal promise, you who have been baptized, you who have heard the words of Christ, your sins are forgiven. Well, you have the heart of the Master. He has changed your heart uh, and given you faith. Uh, so you need not worry about this. Uh, but give this word to you once again. This is indeed why we gather for church, so that you may be uh, built up and uh, given God's word which kills and makes alive. I want you to live in this hope, the hope of the one Jesus Christ. So come, let us gather for worship this weekend, and I'll see you there.